Hey everyone, um, I'm here again <laughs> in the living room, uh, back with another audio clip for you guys. Basically, um, okay, so the idea was that I was gonna just recap, do a video recapping um, KCON 19 New York Day One. Um, but after when I left the convention, I left the convention like at six, I had to hurry back home to take my dog Marley out. Um, and then after after I got back and it was already nine ish and there's no light and the lighting in my room was really bad so i was like you know what let me just sit in the living room and do another audio clip uh to recap this day so yeah um that's basically what happened so okay so let's go back to the beginning of the day i got to cake on like at 11 05 ish through there and then so i just walked to the convention um so javits center it took me a couple of minutes it took me like 10 minutes more or less and then after that, I got to the front of the Javits Center and I was uh, completely lost. Um, I didn't, I've never been to the Javits Center before. I've always wanted to go because they, hey, yo, they have, um, they always hold KCON, um, not KCON, Jesus, BookCon there. Um, I always wanted to go, but I've never gone. So I was like, okay, so what is this? And yesterday at Club KCON, I just went downstairs. So I was still not familiar with um, the whole area. So I saw that people, um, we're going to the left um, to check in those who weren't able to do so yesterday Friday And then I saw a whole bunch of people go down the hill to the right because there was like this um, Bag check-in or something like that. So basically if you already had your wristband and you wanted to um, Just go in for them to check your bags and whatnot you would go through there So I just continued to walk down the hill went into there took out um you know took off my book bag and whatnot they checked it everything's fine but then i had to go back to where i started i had to go up the escalator to get on this big 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 old line um to get into the convention so i was like confused i was like wait a minute so i still have to go back up there i would have just rather like go the other way and do the line but yeah like literally i had to go from the bottom um right of the convention to the top left of the convention so yeah i just walked up the stairs and whatnot and got into that massive line um i was able to enter the oh my god i was able to enter the expo if i'm not mistaken that's what they call it the expo section where all the sponsors are at the booths and all that by 1205 1210 um so yeah i was on that line i guess like a half an hour i guess um time went on pretty pretty quickly because we were constantly moving um you know there was only little little time little like a couple of minutes i guess like five minutes max that we'd be standing but luckily the person in front of me was kind enough to speak to me um and she was talking to me about 80s showing me like the videos that she took of 80s yesterday in club kcon um and also uh she was talking to me about bap um and other groups and we were just talking about that and then i told her that i was interested in a k-drama panel and she asked me like oh what's your favorite k-drama panel um i mean k-drama so far this year and i was like okay so i'm not watching k-dramas um like, i mean as in this year uh i've just stuck with thailand dramas but now i'm starting to get back into k-dramas um and so i started best chicken um one because i wanted to see kim soe again in you know in a drama um she was always she was always um one of my faves in ioi and i like her as an actress i'm really glad that she's getting like the opportunity to showcase her talent um and like i'm rooting for her so yeah i wanted to see it because of her and also because of park suno who's uh right now in produce 101 but he was also a trainee in starship like you know with monster x and sister and all that he knows all of them um so yeah i just wanted to see him as an actor because i've heard that he he's like pretty popular he, his career is pretty doing pretty well so i was like okay so i want to see how he acts so um yeah and i had seen previews of it before and i had it on my list to on my to watch list on my drama list so i was like okay so let me start it and yeah i've started it um and i'm gonna be giving my first impression um pretty soon on my blog and here on the channel so stay tuned for that so yeah we were talking a lot and then when we got in um we went out our separate ways and then so i decided just to walk around so i could like show you guys like how 
um, the convention was looking this year. You guys know that. Um, other years, it would be in New York under the sun. Um, but this year, we had air conditioning. Uh, so yeah, I just walked around the convention really quickly. It didn't take me a long time. Luckily, like a lot of people weren't in the way. And then I ran up. So okay, so they had everything separate separated in the sense that the expo was in one section, and then the panels, the workshops, the fan clubs uh, were in another section. So to be able to go to the panel sections, um, you had to um, go up the escalator and exit the expo section where the sponsors are at, and then walk down to another escalator at the end of the hall. Um, to then go down to the section where the panels are at, workshops and whatnot. Um, so yeah, uh, I was able to go over there and then I met up, uh, I went to a panel. One of my friends, um, Amy, of course, uh, I, I talked to you guys about her at the beginning of the vlog. Um, so yeah, thanks to her, obviously I'm able to go to the convention. Uh, and so I went to her panel. The panel is named Holly Relay Games and Egg Your Battle. Um, so yeah, I went to her uh, to her panel and it was so much fun. It was so funny because the games were really entertaining. I mean, these are the, these games remind me a lot of the games we play back in Puerto Rico when we do get-togethers and events for you know for the, the K-pop community. And it was just really fun. It was fun like to see people do like their own renditions of the Kiyomi um, uh, dance. Uh, it was also fun, like the TT dance, the twice TT dance. Um, it was just really funny, like especially because there were parents there, and someone's dad was also part of like the competition. And oh my god, I laughed so much. I was like, "What is going on? This is, oh my god, this was, it was just really funny, like just be there and like in the room and everybody was laughing. We were just having such a great time. It was just really, it was really fun. I really, really enjoyed it. And I think my favorite, no, not think, I'm sure that my favorite game was the choreography game because, you know, I love charades. Like, I love charades. I'm really good at charades when it comes to, like, K-pop. Um, and I really wanted to get up and, and participate. But the problem is that I'm not really good with dance moves. Um, like doing dance moves and identifying them especially if the person doesn't pick like the like you know this this dance each each k-pop choreography has a signature um like point like dance um dance move that you know when you see that dance move you know automatically oh it's this song oh it's this song it's like that like that that signature um movement a signature dance a signature part in the dance um so yeah, if it's not the signature part, if it's just any other ra random part of the dance, I, I I would not be able to. But like, and if anything else, like the charades, like if I have to, if I have to describe you uh, a group, if I have to tell you like any, if I have to like act it out or anything, I'm just great. I'm just great at either like guessing or identifying, you know, the answer um to the charades so oh my god i love k-pop charades so yeah i really that was my favorite game i really loved it it was just really awesome um and so the last one was um if i'm not mistaken the tissue one which is like basically oh uh, like you had to like blow on a tissue and keep it afloat um in the air and whoever uh would do it for the longest time would also win something so yeah i had to leave a couple of minutes before like it ended like 10 15 minutes before it ended um but yeah it was just super fun i really enjoyed that panel and i liked it a lot like i said there were families there there were you know groups of friends and whatnot and everybody was having a great time it was just really funny and i laughed and i was like this is this is really awesome this is what you know panels should be about it you know, the community can find you know, a nice, nice place to just, you know, have fun and win, win prizes, and just be with friends and have a great time. So yeah, I had, I had a really awesome, awesome time. So after that, I went um, to back to the expo section because obviously I was in a rush in the beginning when I got there. So I wanted to see what was going around. And yeah, there was a little bit of everything. They were giving free pizzas. Free dumplings, the Toyota booth was there. There was like a dance section, um, like a dance circle going on in the beginning, like in the left corner. Um, there were a lot of props, um, not props. Um, oh yeah, props, like photo booths, 
um like in the beginning when you walked in there was like the k-con one which was really great i loved it i was like this is awesome like this is great like you can just sit there find somebody to take a picture of you or your friend or whatnot and i loved it i was like this is great like this is what we need this is the instagram picture i need this is the help i need um so i really like that there were other prompts like there was a whole wall of of photo booths um they were really really nice i hope tomorrow i'm able to like take pictures in front of them i was only able to take a picture in front of a couple of, like i took a picture in front of um one that's like with a chair um and it's like the background is like leaves I'll, I'll show you guys the picture um and another one obviously in the kcon one uh and then i took a picture in the cacao friends photo booth which is cute too because they had like the the stuffed animals um the peluche like we say um where else uh no that's it that's the only, that's the only pictures i took um they also had like the kcon studio kcon stage they had the vendors they had a couple of other booths with like new, well they were new to me, but like new sponsor, well, sponsors, new booths, um, like for K-Beauty and whatnot, there was a couple of them like towards the back in the right section, the right side of the convention, um, there was a lot of like K-Beauty things, there was also a wall, which they had last year, which I forgot the name of it, but basically they do like interviews, I think it was like the K, K no it wasn't the KCOM stage, it was another section. Um, if I remember the name, I'll, I'll put it in. Um, if not, obviously I'll show you guys in the vlog. Um, I'll insert a clip for you guys to know what I'm talking about. But um, So they had that section there, people could take their pictures. They had the wall again, so you could put like a lovely message. I want to go to that wall tomorrow, so I'm going to go to that wall tomorrow um what else there's also what else do they have oh they had a couple of other booths like the study abroad booth they had the korean oh my god was it the korean air i know there was a Korean. there was a korean airline i hope it was that korean air um what else oh uh, yeah that's all oh, the mcdonald's booth obviously and a couple of other things that I quite don't remember the name to, but like something, there's a booth that was selling ice cream and things like that. Uh, was it Melona? Like, oh, something like that. But yeah, there was a couple of things that I've seen last year in new work and then a, a couple of new things as well, new people with booths. So yeah, I just walked around a little bit um, and then I didn't do too many lines. I got the free pizza. Um, what else did I get? I took a couple of pictures, like I said. Uh, oh, I got a free, uh, I got like two biscuits, biscuits, oh, biscuit type treats from another, um, another booth. And yeah, so then I had a, a paddle at 3.30, so around 2.50 or 3, I went around looking for food. Um, someone was kind enough to tell me that, you know, where the food court was at. I went downstairs and, okay, so I was going to decide to just walk two blocks, two avenues down. Or two or three avenues down to go to McDonald's um, because I knew it was gonna be expensive like it's always expensive but everything was like ten dollars and up um, when I got there so I was like oh my god no I don't want to waste so much money but but I found some sushi in the back um, for seven dollars uh, I was like okay that's better than ten um, and it was uh, I got the salmon and avocado sushi roll it tastes really good. I still have some left. I may eat it, hopefully. And I'll just stick it in the, the refrigerator. But yeah, um, I ate a couple of those. And then I just went back to the hall. I mean, to the panel section. Um, and there was a queue already, a line to queue in for the K-drama um, panel. So I waited a little while. I didn't, I think it was like 15 minutes or so. And then they let us in and we sat down. And then the panel started a couple of minutes later. Um, and so the, this panel was how to create the perfect K-drama, something like that, something along those lines. Or oh, how to create the perfect K-drama. Yes, did I just say that? Okay, I think it was that. Um, and so it was, uh, the host was Jun Lee. Um, I've seen his, his video, I didn't know it was him, the one in the videos, but I've seen his videos 
where he's like doing like mini clips of K drama episodes, that a K drama that basically he he has created using the Snapchat filters, the Snapchat filters that you know change gender like women to men, men to women, and then the baby filter. So he's been doing um, like mini episodes of a K drama he invented. Uh, like a storyline and so he was talking to us about that about his process of of uh, filming and whatnot and then we were looking at the episodes but unfortunately I found out um, while I was uh, checking my schedule that the panel had been changed so on my phone I downloaded um, the pictures of the panels that way because the pictures of the panels it tells you like the graphics they made the promotional graphics they tell you um, you know what hall is gonna be the number of the panel what not the room and everything so you know so at 3 30 was supposed to be how to make the perfect k-drama and then after that it was behind the scenes of k-pop production in that same um, room but then they changed it so the k-drama one became um, they, they did it in panel two and then the the k-pop one behind the production of k-pop um, they did in panel one so I had to leave the K-drama uh, panel early, unfortunately. But this, that panel was just really funny. I really liked how he interacted with the audience. And he was asking, like, who who has watched his videos, who watches K-dramas and whatnot. He even asked the audience, like, what do you think is going to happen next? You know, because a lot of I think a lot of people hadn't watched the earlier ones he did. Um, I think they probably just watched the first or second episode. So he was asking, and there were and there were a couple of people like, "Oh, this and this and this." Like you know, people you know that they watch K dramas. So um, I was like, "Oh, okay, this is gonna be really funny." And yeah, it was really funny. I really liked how how he interacted with uh, the audience. I wish I oh my god, I really wish I could have stayed because even though like I thought I okay, I thought it was gonna be more like a K drama. In the sense that we were going to talk about the industry and talk about you know the production um and who knows maybe they did because like i said i had to leave early um but i i thought it was going to be something like more like um talking about just specifically k-dramas and the industry and the behind the scenes uh, uh and whatnot but this 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 panel was just super really funny like i really enjoyed the time uh, that was there it was really interesting to like hear how <laughs> he was talking about his mom how his mom would be like what the heck like looking at him like in a certain way because it's like you've seen your son do these crazy things um but yeah the videos were super super funny i um recommend everybody go check out um his videos uh his name is julie if i'm not mistaken um so yeah i had to leave early and then i had to queue up to um the other panel uh, it would be the last panel of the day. It would start at 4.30. Um, and so there was a lot of people there. And I unfortunately wasn't able to get a banner for um, the Jungup project. Um, because Jungup was going to be part of uh, that panel. It would be Jun Kurian, uh, Jungup, and also Min, who is a producer. I hope I got his name right. Um, so yeah, I queued up. We, we came, I think we went in like at 4 25 4 30 i think so because i was checking i was like this is taking way too long um so yeah we queued we queued um well yeah we stood in the line we went in like at 4 25 4 30 um i got a great spot i mean to me i got a great spot um there was a, just there was a lot of people and everybody sat like in the middle i was able to get into the right side there was like three sections so i was able to get into the right side of the uh, of the stage um, the second row so I got a really great spot I was able to take a lot of pictures and videos and yeah that that panel I really liked it because um, I really liked how they talked about the process of creating like um, how they had collaborated in creating music and you know they talked about chore choreography and composing and whatnot and what I mostly loved about it was how chill it was and how since they're all friends um, you know, there was just this awesome laid back vibe. Um, and yeah, it was just so, so nice just to see Joan up there. Um, like you guys, I've been a baby since debuted and I've loved BAP so much, enjoyed their music so much. Um, I'm always, you know, I think back and then and it sucks that I wasn't able to see them perform live together, but I'm so happy that, um, you know they're doing their whole thing they're all you know 
doing their solo work and I'm glad that they keep in touch and that they care about each other and that they care about their friends as well. So yeah, I was just super, super happy to see him, super happy that he was talking. He is seriously so goofy and so sweet. My friend is like his super fan. Um, and she says that he's always spaced out, and yes, he a lot of times he would space out. He'd be like, um, what? Or he'd like take his time. But yeah, it was just super funny. I loved how casual it was, and I since they're friends, I just felt like it was it, everything just that the MC she was awesome, and um, everything just went smoothly. Like because it was like a conversation between friends, and I liked like the questions. Some of them were like more professional, others were more casual. So yeah, I just really, I just really had a great time just um, in that panel. It was nice like to hear how they collaborate um, and how you know, for for Min, if I'm not mistaken, he says that he it's easy for him in the sense to create songs. Like he can create a song in a day. Jung Up is really good with choreography. Um, June obviously is doing his own thing with his original music and whatnot, and he says that. He was in Korea um, filming his latest music video, and the pro wait a minute, the producer, the director, one of those two. It, she is the one who does also. She films um, Stray Kids's um, Stray Kids music videos. So I was like, wow, that's super cool. So yeah, he had he got the chance to have that experience, and yeah, it was really nice just to listen to them all um, talk. Um, about their careers and also personally and like what they're looking forward to and whatnot it was just really nice i liked how they interacted they opened um you know the questions to the fans it, most of the questions were really cool i really liked them there was one question that made everybody cringe um uh but i'm really happy about how jung up um spoke about it uh because like basically uh, and and this is obviously it made everybody cringe. Um, well, it made me cringe. A lot of people were mad um, or uncomfortable, like around me. They were like, "Oh, it made me cringe a bit because it it was like." Um, so the question was if uh, it was something about like him comparing which one he. If I'm not mistaken, it's which one he liked more: if working in a group or working solo, or if he could compare them, something like that. Uh, it was something along the lines of um, BAP versus solo activities or something like that. And a lot of people around me were uncomfortable. I just cringed because I was like, ooh, maybe I don't think the person, like, I don't think the person meant, I, well, I believe that the person didn't mean, um, didn't mean any harm. I feel like more or less the question um, may have been worded. A certain way and people like took it the wrong way but like I don't think I mean I hope to believe that the person didn't mean any wrong this person just I mean because a lot of people have always asked like okay so how do you feel now as a solarist versus how you felt back then like which other changes and a lot of a lot of people say oh it's like really nerve-wracking being up on stage alone or it's like really different like it, the, the the stage is like empty or whatnot or I, or I can't rely on my uh, on my teammates. I have to do everything on myself by myself. So I've heard that question be asked before. So that's why I'm like, you know, it made me cringe because I was like, oh no, this could go really bad. Like, um, but I don't think the person meant any harm. Um, so yeah, but I liked how Jung up um, he answered it. He you know. Uh, he said that there's really no comparison um, like for example like when you're a soloist like you can choose your own music and your own concert and whatnot and like when you're in your, you're in a group um, are you saying when you're in your group you have to like all come together to create something I think I got a clip of it if I have a clip of it I'll insert it um, so yeah uh, a lot of the questions I really liked um, and yeah, it was a really awesome panel. It was really chill, really cool. At the end, um, we were able to take, we were able to take a picture. Um, it, says it was a, such a big room. Um, they took a picture like per section, so the left, the center, and the right. And um, when he came to the right, he said hi to everybody, and I was like, oh my god, hi, Jungle. Um, yeah, I have a clip of that as well. So yeah, it was just so nice to be able to see him, um, and I also get to know more about June Curry. And and I mean, so yeah, it was just really a really nice panel. It was a really good way to like finish the day off with the panels. 
Um, well, I felt like I, I thought it was going to be like the last part, but no, I actually, I don't know what happened, but I was like, let me go down to the, to the expo section again. Um, yeah, I went down and they were giving the lines for the free dumplings that I couldn't, I wasn't able to get last time. Um, it was really short. So I was like, I'm going to get free dumplings. So that's what I did. I got free dumplings. Um, yeah, I got free dumplings. I couldn't get the free pizza um, again, so boo. But I got uh, the Toyota tote bag as well. I got a really nice clip of um, the dance, uh, the dance circle they had next to the Toyota booth, which was fun. Um, I took a couple of pictures of, of other sections of the convention, and, and yeah, and then I left because everything else was closing. I went into another line, but they had the person in front of me. Um, had to be cut off because they had no more products so i was like oh that really sucks um <laughs> so yeah i just decided to just go home so i walked down to the bus stop and i went right home so yeah basically that was more or less um my first day at KCON new york 2019 um yeah i had fun it was very chill um last year i felt like it was more like a runaround um, I, I think it's because I was like going to different sections under the sun. Um, last year I was able to see Pentagon at the Toyota booth and also um, EXID in another part of the convention. So I think I was, I was running around more last year. This year is much more chill. It was in air conditioning, which is always awesome. Um, so yeah, I really liked today. Today wasn't hectic at all. Um, I had a really good time. I was able to eat. I had my water bottle. Um, yeah, I was just really, I had a really nice time. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, I forgot to, oh my God. I forgot to tell you guys. Wow, I almost forgot to tell you guys. Okay, so when, when was this? Okay, no. After I came out of Emmy's panel, like at 2.30, and I went back into the expo section. This is before the K. This is before I went to eat and went to the K drama panel at 3.30. Um, I was I was just walking around and trying to like get more footage to show you all like the convention floor and whatnot. And then I see this long line going from the KCON studio all the way to like the back where um, they have like the black curtains and I was like oh what's going on it's just like a massive line so then I just I, I tried to get to the other side because they were blocking the other side and then I find out that ATs was supposed to like walk through there and come out so I was like wait what like they're gonna pass through here what so I was like okay so I'm gonna stay here because I have a couple of friends back home that really like ATs and I'm like okay I'm gonna try to get this video for them so I stood in line it took like 10 minutes I think I got there like 10 minutes before their KCON studio um, interview finished. And then they came out and I was able to get a pretty decent, like a pretty decent video of them. Um, and yeah, I was like, whoa, I just literally stumbled upon this line and got to see 80s once again. So I was just really happy. I was like, this is great. Like my friends are going to freak out when they see this video because my friends really like them. So I was like, yay, I got, I got a little, <laughs> I got a short video of 80s up close. So yeah. Oh my God. I almost forgot to tell you guys about that. Wow. So yeah, basically my first day at KCON um, this year, KCON New York, finally, Cake on New York 2019 was a pretty chill one. I had a good time. Didn't stress myself out. Everything went pretty well. Tomorrow, I'm looking forward to another chill day. I got a couple of panels I'm going to visit. Um, and also, um, I'm hoping to get to a couple of the booths I wasn't able to get to yesterday. Um, I'm looking forward to that pizza that was really delicious and also that free dumpling. The Toyota booth maybe has something awesome going on. And I'm going to check who's going to be at the KCON studio because that space I really liked it. Um, and if I could get another video of another group that I like or that one of my friends likes, um, that would be awesome too. I mean, you know, it'd be, it'd be great just to be able to show them, um, you know, something since they weren't able to go. So yeah, this is basically my recap for day one um thank you so much for listening um tomorrow i'll be back with another kcon video um and also a recap i think i'm gonna do just another recap um of day two um yeah 
so yeah thanks you thank you very much for listening to this video see you guys tomorrow i hope you all have an awesome weekend for all of you that are attending kcon and the convention and i mean the convention and the concert hope you all have an awesome experience and i'll see you all very soon with another video hope you guys have a great weekend bye thank you